Thank you, Doug, and thank you to Agencia and to Jimmy for inviting me to participate in today's webinar. My name is Bruce Beckman, and I'm a commercial account manager with Emirates Airline. I'm very pleased to be here today to share an update on Emirates in the US and North America. And uh, let's begin. So, quick overview of Emirates. Um, Emirates is the largest airline that's not part of an alliance. Uh, and we leverage our commercial cooperation to enhance network coverage with any carrier, regardless of alliance groups. So, for example, Emirates is a partner with Qantas. Uh, Qantas is part of One World and Emirates is not. So what Emirates does is picks and chooses um, airlines to partner with regardless of the alliance. So we partner in the US with Alaska Airlines and JetBlue. We also partner with WestJet in Canada. Um, some other ones we partner with are Goal in Brazil. Um, and as I mentioned, Qantas and also Korean Airlines. So there's quite a few partners throughout the world. Emirates was founded in 1985. We're the largest operator of the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 777. Our home city, uh, the one and only hub is in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And uh, previous to COVID, we served 164 destinations in 85 countries on six continents. And I think we're up to 159 now. And one interesting piece of information is that on every flight, a minimum of six languages are spoken by the crew. So it's a very cosmopolitan airline, uh, which seeks to make everyone comfortable regardless of your culture or your country of origin. Um, some updates on Emirates. Emirates was uh, recognized for hygiene and safety measures and contactless journey, where you can take advantage of our smart technology and travel safely through the Dubai International Airport and on board the aircraft. Uh, Emirates offers, this is very important for your clients, Emirates offers multi-risk travel insurance, which is complimentary to your travelers with purchase of their ticket on Emirates. Dubai, uh, as a city and the destination is open both for business and leisure travel. You can find more information on uh, Dubai being open at visitdubai.com. Uh, and also we have, we were supposed to have the Expo 2020, the World's Fair in Dubai, which was supposed to begin October 2020, but that has been moved to October 2021 through April 2022. So again, you'll find information on Dubai at visitdubai.com. Uh, we do have PCR tests available at Dubai International Airport and throughout the city of Dubai. On emirates.com, the website, there is a list of locations throughout the city of Dubai where you can have a PCR test taken at a discount uh, with your Emirates ticket. Emirates also continues uh, to reinstate service as soon as countries lift restriction. We just, I think it was two days ago, announced reinstatement of Newark to Athens. And uh, that is a flight that is nonstop between Newark and Athens. It does not stop in Dubai. So if you have anyone going to Greece, that's a great option for you. Um, here's a map of our passenger network. This says September 24th, 2020, and there's a few updates uh, down in the bottom left corner. So as you can see, uh, we're currently operating Boston, JFK, Dulles, Toronto, Chicago, Houston, Los Angeles, with Seattle uh, beginning, uh, it already began February 1st. On March 2nd, we will begin service again from San Francisco and Dallas to Dubai. And June 1st, Newark Athens will restart. So this gives you an idea of the route network. Other than that, Newark Athens and um, eventually JFK Milan will return. Uh, other than those two flights, everything goes through Dubai, as you can see on the map. So I know 
the hot topic is um, where do I get information on where you fly and the COVID restrictions and what destinations require testing and which ones require quarantine and so on and so forth. So that information, fortunately, is all located at emirates.com on the front page here where you see this yellow arrow that I've inserted there. Um, you can click on that go to COVID-19 hub and you'll find all of that information there. On the next page, this is the page uh, where you're taken, the COVID-19 information hub. You see our current network and services, travel requirements for Dubai, and the travel requirements by each destination, uh, travel safety during COVID, multi-risk travel insurance information is there, your options uh, for changes, exchanges, refunds, uh, is there, and then you can request a refund at this link here. Uh, and then there's a drop down frequently asked questions. Where can I get tested? Does my child need a COVID-19 test? Do I have to wear a mask? Yes, you do have to wear a mask. And um, further information is available on that website for all of your COVID-19 information needs. Um, so into the products, we currently have three, a three cabin, service on most of our flights. Emirates does have traditional first class, which offers dining on, a, on demand, an 82 inch long suite. Uh, on the A380, we have the two onboard shower spots and uh, the onboard lounge, which I have a picture of uh, in the next little section there on this page there. Um, it says more than 2,200 channels of ICE digital widescreen. It's actually over 5,000 channels of on-demand entertainment, free Wi-Fi if you're in first, um, and on and on there. You can see we do offer the chauffeur drive, the lounge network uh, for first and business class. Business class uh, is a seat pitch up to 88 inches. Again, there's some free Wi-Fi. On the A380, you do have access to the onboard lounge. Uh, the 5,000 channels of ICE, chauffeur drive, launch network, and so forth. And then in economy class, again, you get the entertainment system and the Wi-Fi. There are a variety of different meals, including vegetarian, and again, uh, strong children's product. A lot of the same uh, benefits you, you get throughout. If you look through this list, you get throughout uh, regardless of class. So. Uh, going to the next slide, some innovations. Uh, we do have the special children's product, over 5,000 channels of the on-demand TV. Some of our aircraft have, have live TV, the A380 shower spa. Um, we do provide chauffeur drive for business and first class in all of our US gateways. And most of the cities uh, we serve that information and which cities we serve and for what distance from the airport is located on emirates.com. Uh, and we do have a mileage program. The name of that program is Skywards. Um, again, more on the entertainment system. Uh, it is 5,000 channels now, over 500 movies, 1,200 music channels. Uh, there's Wi Fi on board and Again, the TV systems, there's some details there, 32 inch in first, 23 inch in business, 13.3 inch screen in economy class. And we have 11 years in a row been voted world's best in-flight entertainment system. Uh, so our lounges are open. The Emirates Lounge in Dubai is open. Um, some of our other lounges are open, some are closed now, depending on the country and the restrictions in those countries and cities. So you do want to look at the website, but we do have the lounges. Um, I know the pictures here, no one's wearing a mask, but you do have to wear a mask in the lounge. Uh, and it is open to first and business class travelers, as well as Emirates Skywards Platinum Gold and Silver members. Uh, some added value items that Emirates offers is Dubai Connect. If you have a stopover, uh, and again, I should uh, note that due to COVID, there's some changes here. Um, for any connection over 10 hours in economy, 
business or first. I know the slide says six, but it is 10 hours now. Um, we do provide, Emirates does provide a complimentary hotel room for that long connection in Dubai, and it does include the visa and ground transportation. Also, uh, Wi Fi, I mentioned that earlier. There's some pricing here for details. You get free Wi Fi up to 20 megabytes if you are not a member of Skywards. And then and you can purchase um, $9.99 for up to 150 megabytes or $15.99 for up to 500 megabytes. So there's some other options on the Wi Fi, but we do provide some free Wi Fi, which is very rare in the airline industry nowadays. Um, chauffeur drive service, again, I mentioned that's for business class and first class. It is available um, from the passenger's home or hotel to the airport or from the airport to the final destination, to your office, wherever. And typically it's a 60 mile in the US radius or outside the US it's a 60 kilometer radius. So again, you should check um, Emirates.com for the destination city to make sure it is operating. Again, some countries aren't allowing it. Uh, and to book it, you can you can book it through the GDS system or Emirates.com, manage a booking, and then uh, in that section, manage a booking, you can book the chauffeur drive with the pickup and the drop-off address in there. So uh, how to contact Emirates for existing PNR issues. We have an email, sales support dot USA at emirates.com. We also have the Emirates Partners Portal, which is a great way, a great area to get your uh, updated information, such as on chauffeur drive, how to book it. You can even book the chauffeur drive or the Dubai Connect Hotel through Emirates Partners Portal. And that website is www.emirates.partners. We also have a group desk for Groups of 10 passengers or more, you can book a group through our group desk. And that email is ekgroupsusa at emirates.com. And again, it's ekgroupsusa at emirates.com. And as I mentioned, to book the chauffeur drive or Dubai Connect, you would visit emirates.com, click on manage a booking, check at the top of the page, and then you enter the record locator and the passenger's last name, and it'll take you to where you can book those two services if the passenger is eligible. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. And we do appreciate you selling Emirates. If you have any questions, I will be around to the end. Uh, but until then, let's hand it over to Jimmy. Fantastic. Let's make thank a change you. right now. And while we're doing that, Bruce, thank you for that presentation. It's encouraging to know that there are additional gateways opening within the next week or so. I guess that's that's a good sign that demand is returning. Yes, it is. Thank you, Doug. So, Doug, are you able to see my screen now? Is my screen uh, displaying? I can see your screen. Perfect. So hi everyone. Uh, as Doug mentioned earlier, my name is Jimmy Stavropoulos. I'm the Director of Sales over at Agencia Global. Um, and uh, instead of walking you through an entire presentation of our platform, uh, I didn't want to keep you for too long. So I just wanted to give you a quick idea of some of the features and benefits of using Agencia Global. And uh, just basically make an open invitation to anyone attending right now who would like to learn more to set up a one-on-one -on -one in depth webinar later on uh, just to show you everything that Agencia has to offer. Um, so right now I'm on our results page. The first page is very simple. You would enter your origin, destination and travel dates. That's pretty much it. Um, now let's say we are ready to book our Emirates itinerary. First thing I wanna draw your attention to is our life commission calculator. So when you select the flight that you're uh, looking to book, our commission calculator is gonna click in. It'll tell you right away on the fly how much you stand to make booking a ticket. Now, in this case with uh, Emirates, it's a published fare, so the, their published fares are uh, commissionable. And in the case of uh, net fares, we would uh, display that net fare to you and allow you to mark it up as you see fit. Now, Agencia has a 100% uh, commission share policy. So that 35.69 right over here that you're seeing, 
is 100% of what uh, Bruce has made available. So in the case of commissions, we'll forward 100% of that over to you, uh, the agent. And in the case of net fares being loaded for us in the GDS, we will not mark those up. So if ever Emirates has, for example, a tactical fare of $500, then rest assured that the fare you'd see in Agencia would be $500. We're not going to take that up to 505, 510, or anything uh, to that effect. Now, we also do have uh, fare families available. So you see, by default, we'll, we'll always offer you the lowest available price, which is the equal flex uh, option right over here. And when you hover over the fare families, it'll actually show you what's included, what's at a charge, and what's simply uh, not available. So once you've selected the fare that you want, you would simply click on book and that'll take you that'll take you to our checkout page now while uh, we're being led to our checkout page um, what I wanted to show you with Agencia specifically is not necessarily just the ease of use of the platform which I'm sure you'll be convinced of uh, in a one-on-one -on -one webinar but the innovation that we've brought to the market as a consolidator so I've done uh, no less than probably 200 webinars uh, right now to potential new agents uh, a decent chunk uh, with our friends at uh, Jack's Facts, in fact. And uh, during those webinars, we, also, we always ask for feedback, not only on what you think of the tool that you see, but also what is it that we as a consolidator could bring to the market that would alleviate headaches that you face in your day-to-day -day as a travel agent that, not, uh, that no consolidator out there has basically solved for you. So most consolidators tend to be you know, uh, travel specialists, who have a booking platform available to you. We consider ourselves a technology company who's chosen travel as their uh, main focus. So we believe in innovation. We believe in evolving quicker than others out there on the market. So if you think there's anything that we could bring to you that would make life uh, easier for you as a travel agent, let us know. And on that note, what I wanna show you, so now we're at our checkout page here, which is recapping the flight that we selected and all that good stuff. What I want to show you actually is our unlimited markup tool. So when you go to your price breakdown section right over here, it'll show you again how much you stand to make. Uh, in the case of a net fare, you could mark it up. So that's where you would enter your markup right over here. Now, we want to make things easier on you. If you don't know how much the airline will allow you to mark up by, it's very simple. You would just hover over this little question mark right over here, and it'll tell you both uh, how much the airline allows for on their merchant account and then how much Agencia will allow for as a markup. So now we're looking at a published fare. Uh, basically goes without stay, saying that airlines don't allow for markups on their published fare on their merchant account. But right under that, you'll see that it says maximum agency markup, uh, 1586. So Agencia by default is going to allow you to mark up by up to double the base fare. So that's where that 1586 is coming from. Just double this 793 that you see right over here. Now, in the case that you know you, you've agreed with the customer on this price right over here, you're good making your commission of 35.69, which is right over here. You're good to go. You could proceed with entering their credit card information, click agree to the terms and conditions, and hit book and pay, and your booking is as good as as good as confirmed. Now, let's say that you know as a travel consultant, you know you are offering to go over and above for your customers so perhaps you offer vip service in terms of customer service you know you give them your cell phone number and they could call you at any time if they have any questions while they're away uh you could be making their arrangements as bruce alluded to there's the chauffeur drive maybe you're making the uh the uh the, the schedule for them you're booking that for them and so on so let's say you do want to add a markup to this published fare now any consolidator on the market for example let's say you wanted to add a markup of 100 dollars uh that. any consolidator on the market is going to allow you to add uh, a markup to a published fare now how that works is since the airline will, won't allow you to put that markup on their uh, merchant account you'll usually have to use your consolidators merchant account for that markup so by default, we have as the pricing strategy selected lowest price, meaning that if you want to mark up your fare by $150, the lowest price you could offer is $1,028, which is your base fare of $793, the taxes, your subtotal, your uh, for your subtotal, and then adding the markup and the service fee to it, bring you to $1,028. So that $1,028 would show up as a charge on your customer statement of $873 uh, as a charge from Emirates, and then $154.50 from Agencia Global. So basically your $150 markup and then 
we uh, add a 3% service fee to that basically to offset the, that uh, we incur by using our merchant account. But this is where you know things kind of open up to questioning. So the customer is going to see two separate line items and perhaps start asking questions. You know, why am I paying two separate fees? Is that the money you made on the transaction and so on? So what we allow you to do is go right up here to pricing strategy and then select single charge. When you do that, you'll notice the price did go up a bit. So when we had lowest price, it was at 1,028. When you go to single charge, it goes up by about $26. Why is that? Because now the entirety of the fare is being pushed to Agencia's merchant account. So in that case, the only phone call you might have following your booking is when the customer logs in and checks out their credit card info. They may see a charge for Agencia instead of Emirates and just call you and say, hey, what's this all about? At which point you could say, that's our wholesaler. No worries there, you're good to go. So we'll allow you to apply up to double the base fare as markup on any ticket under the sun. So, um, you know, these days it's no secret. Uh, most agents are, um, you know, trying to earn their way booking domestic U.S., which, uh, you know, in the vast majority of cases are non-commissionable. There's no net fares available. So if you do want to add markup to those fares discreetly, you could use Agencia and use that single charge feature. So that's how you could hide your markup. And I should note that by default, uh, we'll allow double the base fare as the markup. But should you need more than that, in the case of those fares sometimes where it's $1,000, but the base is only 40 and the taxes are 960, you don't hesitate to reach out to us. We could adjust that on a case-by-case -case basis. So if ever you do, do need to apply more markup than uh, double the base fare, we're open to that as well. Now, I'm just going to scroll back right here uh, to my original search and um, bring up another point that a lot of customer, a lot of agents uh, brought up to us. That being that um, sometimes you're looking to book a ticket. Here, I'll just actually pull out my most search and I shall just add five passengers. Let's say you're dealing with five people who want to travel together. Now, you're sitting there, you're dealing with five buddies, let's say, who all want to take a trip to Dubai together for, you know, Expo 2021, for example, even though I've selected August and not October, my bad. Uh, <laughs> but they're all looking to travel together. You've negotiated a price with them. You've added your markup to each and every one. You think your job is done. And then, lo and behold, each one of them takes out their respective credit card. And now, all of a sudden, you're faced with the reality of having to go back to the beginning and book five separate PNRs for those five customers because each one wants to pay with their own credit card and each wants to earn some sort of miles or cash back rewards or points rewards or anything to that effect. And we all know how fun that could be not only during the booking process, but in the case of a schedule change, for example, then you know we do need to modify five PNRs instead of one. So based on agent feedback, uh, we heard that a lot wanted to be able to mark up their fares discreetly without uh, having to display two separate line items. So that's what our single charge has corrected for you. But then we'll also give you the ability to, to uh, accept multiple credit cards as the form of payment on one PNR. So your price breakdown section here is the same. Let's say, you know, that 150 we said one passenger now, whoops, excuse me, it would be 150 for five passengers, so $750. Uh, you want it all on one as one line item. So here you go. The entirety of the 5271 is all in Agencia's merchant account. Now, if one person is paying, then by all means, you could hit a uh, single payment, enter your customer's credit card. For those looking to take this info down for an Amazon shopping spree, it's just a dummy credit card uh, created by Agencia. So it won't work for you on Amazon or anything else. But if, if it's just one person paying, here you go, you've put your customer's credit card info, hit to agree to the terms and conditions, and then book and pay and you're good to go. But let's say you do have those five friends who each wanna use their own credit card. At that point, you would click on multiple payment, and then a drop-down menu shows up that allows you to select as many credit cards as there are customers. So uh, by default here, it'll take five, assuming that each customer wants to use their own credit card. When you scroll down to the payment section over here, you actually get an error message telling you that you need to assign passengers to their credit cards first. So we've made that as simple as possible for you. Here we have our five passengers. We have five credit card slots. It's a simple drag and drop system. Once you assign each passenger to their respective credit card, your payment information field will uh, reopen here. So that's where Delfina, for example, could use her credit card. Then you'll have, for example, Vimeo on card two, 
and we'll have Bruce on card three, and let's say Doug is traveling with us as well. And what the heck, my dog is going to travel with. So Dallas is coming with us as well, for example. So um, at that point, you could enter everybody's credit card information uh, separately. And then once you hit on book and pay, you'll be presented with one PNR number, one Agencia Global Confirmation booking number, and then you'll receive your tickets by email uh, within the hour. So long story short, we believe we've created one of the most user-friendly booking platforms on the market. Uh, we've tried to solve a couple of uh, headaches that our, our travel agent partners have faced, such as the inability to apply as much markup as they see fit onto their fares, or the inability to uh, accept multiple credit cards as a form of payment on one PNR. So we've solved both those. Uh, just a quick note, it doesn't have to be one card per passenger. So let's say you have two families traveling together, one with a kid. You can always just move your customers around as you see fit and adjust the number of cards. We won't allow for fare splitting, so the entirety of one person's fare has to be put onto one credit card, but you can kind of shift your customers around however you'd like and then adjust down here in the payment section. So uh, that's pretty much it for me. Just wanted to give you a high level idea of some of the innovation we've brought to the market uh, in terms of tools that uh, will make the booking process uh, less painful for you as a travel agent. But as I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out and just tell us what else you'd like for us to bring to the market. We're, we're always willing to innovate. We want to be the market leaders on that front. So I'm just gonna type my email address right here in my address bar. So if, every, if anybody has any questions or would like to uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one in-depth webinar together, then please don't hesitate. Reach out to me right over here. It's jimmy.stavropoulos at agenciaglobal.com. And uh, we all know these days with COVID, we're, we're not spending that much time booking. So my schedule is uh, relatively light. Feel free to reach out and we'll figure something out uh, at your convenience. So on that note, Doug, I'll uh, pass it back over to you in case there's any uh, Q&A. All right. Fantastic, right. Jimmy. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you. See, I know we do have some questions here, so let's take a look and see what we have. I know there's questions for both of you. Uh, first question here is for Bruce, for Emirates. Uh, they're asking if insurance is included in the airfare or would that be additional travel insurance? Uh, the, the, there's, the information on the website is available, uh, as I showed you in the presentation, but that coverage that I mentioned in, in my presentation is not for extra charge. That's included. There's no extra charge for that. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, somebody's, during your presentation, Jimmy, somebody asked or made the comment that uh, Emirates pays commissions with a question mark. Um, Jimmy, you might want to just give a real brief overview of how air consolidators work and how they work with their airline partners. That might help to answer that question. Yes. So at Agencia Global, we have uh, negotiated uh, commissions and net fares with over 150 airline partners. If anyone's actually joining from Canada, uh, we service point of sale Canada and the U.S. Um, so uh, over 150 carriers, both north and south of the border. Uh, we negotiate, we try to negotiate the most uh, aggressive content possible with them. So be that either by way of commission or by net fare. In the case of Emirates, uh, for now we, we we're receiving a 4.5% uh, commission on the base fare. So to answer your question, yes, they do pay commission and 100% uh, of that 4.5% goes directly to you. And actually, I'm, I'm happy that was mentioned um, as a question because uh, Bruce is, was graceful enough, uh, uh, was graceful enough, excuse me, to offer a pair of tickets uh, to, to one lucky winner. But what we're doing with Emirates now for the month of March is we're going to give you a back end bonus on that as well. So any Emirates bookings that you make will qualify for a 4.5% time of ticketing commission, but any, any and all bookings uh, made in the month of March, specifically for Emirates, will be tabulated at the end of the month, and you'll receive a 1% bonus on that as well. 
So you won't see that in the commission calculator that I demonstrated because that's more of an after the fact back end calculation. But um, it's very easy for us to kind of tabulate those totals and uh, send payments out once that's done. All right, that answers that question. Thank you. Um, Bruce, another question for you. If we want to include access to the lounge, I guess for an economy class passenger, can they do that within your booking tool or within your website tool? Uh, through the Agencia Global tool, I don't believe, I don't. No, I'm no, sorry, I, I think they're Jimmy referring to your website where you're able to book the chauffeur and different things. Is it possible for an agent who might have an economy class person that wanted to get lounge access, can they book it and pay for it through your website? So at Dubai International Airport, there is a uh, economy class lounge is called Marhaba, Marhaba Lounge, M-A-R-H-A-B as in boy, a Marhaba. It means welcome in Arabic. So the Marhaba Lounge is uh, a paid lounge and it's $40 per person for a four hour lounge stay. And you can book that at, um, Actually, you know what? The website escapes me. Hang on. Uh, let me check my phone. It would not be booked through the Emirates.com. It would be through um, Marhaba. Let me check that Marhaba.com to make sure. Okay. Marhaba.com. Oh, no, that's not it. I'll, I'll find the website and I'll, I'll pop back on. But um, it's a separate website. OK, great. Okay. Terrific. Um, Jimmy, a question here. Somebody, they do a lot of um, business class fares for their customers, which I'm sure you'd be happy to hear. And they need a good consolidator. They're wondering, can they book your fares on GDSs, or is it only through your platform? It's only through our platform. OK, great. But, but if you do want here, I'll just scroll back up uh, to the first page. If you do specialize in business class and you want to kind of filter out the fluff, when you click on book flights here and you get to your page where you enter the criteria, you could isolate fare so that your results only display business. Perfect. Okay. Um, Jimmy, another question for you. Do you have connectivity to client base direct connect? Client base direct connect. Uh, if if you mean if we've set up API connections with our airline partners, the answer is yes, but I don't believe I'm answering the question. If that person could maybe be a bit more specific with their question, I, I'm not sure I'm uh, I'm answering it correctly. But um, if that question is in the context of NDC lately, which has become a priority uh, on the airline side, we are in the process of setting up multiple um, direct connections with our airline partners, Emirates being one of them with the uh, Emirates Gateway product right now. So hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, please feel free to elaborate and it'll be my pleasure to sure. answer. Perfect, thank you. Um, question regarding seat assignments, Jimmy. Can the seat assignments be done on your platform or does that have to be done separately? So for the time being, it has to be done separately. This is uh, one of the projects that fell victim to uh, the pandemic, we were actually in beta testing with our seat map. So when you got to the checkout page, um, I actually have a few demo accounts that have it uh, built into the platform, but we're not just ready to launch yet. We were beta testing uh, right before the shutdown last year. So once things return to somewhat normal and we could bring some more staff back on board, uh, it's something that'll be available in the relatively near future for the time being. Um, when you confirm your booking, you'll be given an, um, a nine-digit Agencia Global confirmation number. Uh, you could call us, you could chat with us right over here, or you could even just email us. And uh, here, I'll just click on contact us right over here. So our contact is visible right over here. And we'll take care of that for you if you'd like. Okay, good. So right. on that front, I would say stay tuned. Had there not been a pandemic, it would have already been there. <laughs> All right, great. Speaking of calling in, we have a question of, do you have a call center that agents can call in to book or do you need to do it on, do they need to do it on the platform? 
No, you could call us to book if you prefer. So our uh, hours of operation are right here for the phone. And our phone number is one 544 fair right over here. Okay. And I think this is a question that most air consolidators get. Do you do only international air or do you have domestic, and I guess by that they mean domestic U.S. contracts as well? So we do offer the ability to book domestic U.S., uh, but the reality of that market is there aren't really any commissions or, well, th there's very few, let's call it, commissions and net fares available on domestic U.S. business. Um, but that, that's kind of, as I alluded to before, where our single charge feature comes in handy. Since a lot of that is non-commissionable and there's no net fares available, you are still able to take a regular published domestic fare, which the airline usually doesn't allow for a markup on their merchant account, and apply a markup to it as one single charge on a Genset Global's merchant account. So if you're looking to book like a JFK LAX and mark it up by 50 bucks, Agencia will give you the, the ability to do that. Fantastic. Great. Um, question regarding what change fees and refundability of tickets would be using your platform? So that all depends on uh, the airline's uh, policy. Mm -hmm. So uh, if an airline allows for, you know, unlimited changes and so on, uh, we allow for the same. It, it, it all depends on the airline's uh, policy. Right. Makes sense. Okay. Um, somebody's asking, they are a host and a member of a consortia. Can they yep. sign up to be part of Agencia even if their consortia is not? Can they sign up directly with you? Anyone's welcome to sign up with us. We do ask for some form of accreditation. We do want to make sure, since we have a lot of confidential information on this platform, that not just anyone looking to book a trip for themselves one time, um, you know, get, gets access to this information. So I'll just, uh, I'm just going here to the registration page. When you go to www.agencyglobal.com and hit register right up here at the top or on the blue button that I showed you, we do ask for one form of accreditation out of the ones you're looking at here in this drop down menu. So if you have your own ARC number or a TIDS number, CLIA, TICO, True, OPC, you name it, uh, some of those apply only to Canada if they don't look familiar to you. Um, but if you are an accredited travel agent and you'd like to use Agencia, we charge no registration fee, there's no monthly fees, there's no transaction fees. Um, anything the airline gives us uh, in terms of net fares and commissions is forwarded to you. Uh, I'll even put myself on the spot. I said I pay 4.5% on Emirates. Bruce, how much are you paying me? <laughs> you giving uh, me 4.5% or are you giving me more? <laughs> I'm giving you 4.5%. There Jimmy. you go. No more. There you go. No more. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm joking. <laughs> so, so, so that's it. Um, it's completely free to use as long as you're an accredited travel agent. It'll be our pleasure to have you on board. And... Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I, I see there's a lot of questions that kind of get into the nitty gritty. That's why I put my email address up there and I'll retype it again since I was hopping around and uh, kind of got rid of it. Mm -hmm. If you'd like, you know, for a full proper Q&A session or, a, you know, a good half hour presentation of how to use our tool, how to go about using different features, please feel free to email me right over here and it'll be my pleasure to set something up with you. Okay, that's great. Um, I'm trying to sort through these questions to see which might be most applicable. Uh, do you have the agency sign-up link? Can you post the sign-up link? Sure. Uh, well, you just go to www.agenciaglobal.com. So when you hit that, see right here, agenciaglobal.com. And then the blue button here will show up. You click on register. And here you go. Once you... Uh, submit your information. So here, I'll, I'll take the minute just to show you what the page is like. You enter your business name with your main email, your website if you'd like, your accreditation number, some basic information, and then down here you would select who uh, the master agent is. So first name, last name, confirm you're not a robot, hit register. When you do that, I on my end receive the registration request. We do our due diligence, kind of just look up the ARC number or you know, whatever number was provided just to confirm that you're an accredited agent. And uh, within an hour or two, you're set up and good to go. All right, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna try to summarize some of these questions. Um, Bruce, a couple questions regarding Emirates. Uh, one was, are the chauffeur services wheelchair accessible? The other was, 
is there a charge for seat assignments in coach? Uh, chauffeur drive is wheelchair accessible. Um, however, we would need to know of that requirement uh, at time of booking. So what I would do in, in that situation is either put a note um, in the in the um, request when you go to book the chauffeur drive, um, because that when you book the chauffeur drive through our website, that sends that booking to our third party um, vendor who operates the cars, right? So, sure. um, and then also the chauffeur drive will call, I think 24 hours ahead uh, to reconfirm the addresses and everything. So at that time you can reconfirm that you are requiring um, accessibility. Um, so the answer is yes. And then the other question is, do we charge for seat assignments? Yes, we do have um, seat assignment charges if you're not um, if you're not silver or above status. Also, the lower uh, economy class fares do have a charge for seat assignments. So um, there's there's a point in economy class where it does not, and, and that's at a certain fare level. Sure. So based on the sure. rules of the fare, some fares do require a charge for um a seat assignment and some do not uh, those would be the the um like the super sale fair levels business class um there's no charge and first class there's no charge for seat assignments now real quick to go back to that um uh, economy class lounge question where i mentioned the marhaba lounge yeah that uh, website is marhabaservices.com marhabaservices.com and you can also book through marhaba services a meet and greet if uh you require so and there's different levels of meet and greet so different prices based on which level how far you want them to go as far as um you know high touch meet, meet and greet versus just, just kind of meet them at the curb uh so there's there's a variety of prices in there so it's marhabaservices.com that's great, thank you. Um, Jimmy, a couple quick questions. Uh, sure. One of them is, can uh, travel advisors use their agency credit card for payment? And the other one was, how do you distribute your commissions? So, uh, they use their company credit card? No, uh, there's actually an IATA resolution that uh, doesn't allow for that. And most airlines don't want that anyway. So it would have to be the customer's uh, credit card. And then, um, as far as payment is concerned, checks are sent out on a biweekly basis. And another thing that was kind of being worked on that fell through the cracks during the pandemic, but will be available soon, is uh, PayPal. So soon enough, we'll be able to pay you directly through PayPal as well. Okay. And another question: Can frequent flyer numbers be added onto the PNRs in your system? Uh, yes, they can. So on the uh, checkout page. There is a drop down menu that allows you to select between a bunch of different programs. Um, little drop down menu next to the passenger name. So you would select frequent flyer and enter that number. Okay, great. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. A lot of these are specific questions. What I think I'll do is I'll forward these questions to both of you individually to be able to address some of these specific questions. And sure. so I think that will that will pretty much wrap it up. Okay. Perfect. Well, Jimmy, Bruce, thank you both for your presentations. We really appreciate it. Regarding the drawing uh jimmy and bruce will do that drawing this afternoon and let me know who the winner is uh, tomorrow i will send everybody a follow-up email with a link to the recording as well as letting you know who that lucky winner is awesome well uh doug bruce thank you both very much and thank you to everyone who took the time out of their day to tune in much appreciated and look forward to working with you fantastic thank you jimmy yes, and i you. sorry go ahead bruce sorry thank you I was just going to say thank you, Doug. Thank you, Jimmy. And thank you to everyone uh, who attended. We very much appreciate your time and appreciate your support and your business and look forward to 
uh, you know, during this post COVID time, we all need to kind of work together these days. So uh, we look forward to growing all of our businesses together uh, as, as we move through the future. Thank you. Well said, thank you, Bruce. Okay, that will wrap things up for today. Again, thank you all for attending. Please watch your emails for future sessions. And with that, we will sign off. Thank you and have a great day. Bye everyone.